In our morning rounds, reevaluating mammograms. A new review of 50 years of studies finds the benefits of screening for breast cancer are oversold and the harm is underestimated. Dr. Nancy Keating is co author of the study. She's an associate professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School and a physician at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Okay, we're all confused about the recommendations for mammograms. Explain what your study found. So it is confusing. I think we all wish there was a single right answer for each woman, but unfortunately, the data are complex and mammography is not the perfect screening test. I think we've led everyone to believe that if you just get your mammogram, everything will be okay. But although there are some benefits, these benefits are small, they're very small, and, and the harms are, are notable. So we really need to be talking and thinking about whether we're likely to benefit as an individual. What is harmful about preventative screening? So one harm that we talk a lot about is the harm of false positives and unnecessary biopsies. And this is incredibly common, but it's probably something we can prepare women for and is not the chief harm. I think the chief harm is the risk of overdiagnosis and overtreatment. And what that means is that we identify small cancers that would never progress in a woman's lifetime to become clinically evident. But because we can't tell which those cancers are, we treat them all, and so we subject women to the harms of treatment. But can I just say, for someone who knows someone who's had breast cancer and suffered through chemotherapy and all the drugs, say, I would rather have a biopsy or I would rather do that surgery than have to go through chemotherapy and potentially lose my life and leave my family without their mother. And I, and I think that is, that is potentially right. I think one challenge is, is that most women who have their breast cancers diagnosed through mammograms think that the mammogram is what saved their life. But actually only about 13% of all mammograms, of all women diagnosed with breast cancer by mammography have had their life saved. Most of these women would have done well regardless of the mammogram. There's a small number of women whose life can be saved, but there also are some deadly breast cancers that will kill a woman regardless of whether they had a mammogram. And so I think this is the challenge is that this test is not perfect and we really need to understand the limitations. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say again? I was, I, I, it's frustrating, confusing, and very scary. And I just, will there ever be a time that the medical community is, is united on this? Because I'm thinking, what are we supposed to do? And it's challenging. That's and what's I, so scary and, to me. And this is what's so scary. And I think that the message is, is that unfortunately here, the answer is it has to be individualized yeah. to the patient. Yeah. And so, for example, if, we, if you're at higher risk than average, we also know that you will be more likely than the average woman to benefit from a mammogram. And so if maybe someone that wouldn't have thought about getting mammography screening at age 40, if they're risk is twice the average age 40 year old woman then they actually have a benefit that looks more like a 50 year old woman so, uh, once again talk to your doctor it's exactly. not a one-size-fits-all thank you dr. Nancy thank Keating. you thank, thank you for you. coming